their eyes because and that's the thing he doesn't have like in the season one or two he had the house that was like off in the hill and nobody knew where he stayed and so i think that was a good thing for him but now he just over in the, he over in his mom's house in the trap like that like they know exactly where you at when stuff go left yep exactly where you at and it's still like you can move like that you barely can walk yeah now you now you accessible you know in there pretty much you in you you in there in the hood right there where they at you know they are man boy you said man he knew man boy since he grew up so of course man boy know where your mama live yeah exactly, exactly. you know what i mean they so, know where to come get they know how to hurt you and then so we see that they have the new year's year's party the new year's year's party and then his mom um he tried to get his mom and his daddy to go to the party of course they don't want to go because of the tension that's going on with jerome and louis and his auntie and then he goes to the party and then all of a sudden leon pops up and leon mm-hmm. sees gustavo and he's like pissed he pissed he's like yeah. what is he doing here you know what I'm saying what are you here and he about to pop off on gustavo because the situation that happened with them back in the, in the earlier season yeah at the park yeah yeah they try to go they try to go iron it out and try to you know uh diffuse the situation go in the back room and, and you know what I'm saying and, and uh, franklin's like man he got all these he got all the big players in the room he got gustavo that's moving the dope he got reed in there moving the dope yeah and get the plug and so he's trying to get everybody together but you know leon coming in hot-headed like man nah hot-headed. we ain't letting this go and that's why i see yeah. that dynamic where leon's thinking small whereas uh franklin's thinking big he's like man how can you be working this guy I'm like man we've been working with this guy for months but he hasn't yeah. found so he doesn't know because he went kind of he's on his own little bubble now yeah yep yep and that's the thing frankly i mean Franklin still, you see, even in that situation, Franklin still was coming at Leon like, like he a little kid, yelling at him, putting, you know, like, you know, like he should have, he should have, man, he should have never came at Leon like that. You see, remember when Leon came in, the girl was like, it's still, you uh, you still with the niggas that you came up with. It's good. You know what I mean? And he kind of looked at Leon. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And, but she not knowing that him and Leon, that Leon, him and Leon was beefing or they ain't, they, you know, they funky. You know, but man, he should he should he should listen to that. Like, yeah, man, I need you know, because a lot of people is a lot of people out there he can't trust. So he know he he, he could trust Jerome, the auntie, mom and dad. Who else? Leon. Like, come on, Leon is your. I mean, Leon was the only one really out there with you doing the dirt. He was in it from from the get go. He went up to Oakland with you. You know what I'm saying? He was out. Yeah. Of, he ain't had nothing. Yep. And even when dude was about to. Dude was about to, you know, uh, uh, pull them pants down to take, take, take that man. But yep. Leon, <laughs> Leon took him out, man. Yep, exactly. And <laughs> so, you know, what I'm saying Leon been that guy, and then to kind of see that they, you know, what I'm saying Leon just trying to step out there on his own, you know, being frustrated, them having a having a, a, a tough conversation, they yelling at each other, and they both make decision, they both make a decision in that moment that's gonna really affect both of them because they they. Mm-hmm. You know, Leon need him because he got the best dope. He the plug, and he can get it for a good price. And, and he running low. And he running low. And then you st- now you gotta go step on dope because you don't got no plug. So you make an irrational decision in a moment. Whereas you know, saying where Franklin's simple playing- conversation. Somebody, if, if if one of them could have just been level headed, even though because you know, I didn't. It's like man, we we family. One of them got to be level headed. One of them got to be like you know what? Even though you talking crazy right now, even though I wanna knock your head off but we can't do it hey we we can't do this right now because we got all these other all these all these things that you got different things I mean, all these balls he's he juggling all these all these different plates and balls he's trying to figure yeah. out how to make this thing work since he's been out of commission for a while and all of a sudden you come back in you 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 beefing with your ace boom coon where you should have been more or less like all right man I, I see what you let's 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 have it let's go in the other room let's talk this through but he just is high-headed because the situation that went left already and he's trying to figure he he scrapped he he, he, he grasped for straws and he yeah. got Gustavo in there and he got got Reed in there and he got the family in there and he thought this was gonna be a time they could kind of piece it up but you know Leon like nah bro we ain't, gonna, we ain't cool after what he did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And this was a situation where Franklin has to be able to pull him to the side and go talk to him or even told him about what was going on because he didn't even know what was going on. He didn't even know Gustavo was even inf- involved with the business. Yeah, that's that, exactly. He didn't even know. And, and if anybody need to know, Leon should have should have known. He should have, he should have, Franklin should have asked Leon when he said, man, stay out of, stay out of the middle of that. If anything, he should have asked Leon why. Why? Because Leon, you know, like like I said, Leon is he live in the projects. 
he he comes from that world. He should have been like, Leon, why why is that? Just like he went to everybody else was like, who should we take out, Man Boy or Scully? He should have went to Leon and said, hey, he told me to stay out the middle. I don't think I should stay out the middle because X, Y, and Z. But why do you think I should stay out the middle? She could have had a conversation and then maybe they could have went about it a different way. Maybe now, now he in it with Scully. And Scully about to, man, I feel like Scully about to tear everything down. There's gonna be some killing going on, man. There's gonna be some yeah. Scully went back to the house. He pulled that knife out of his arm. <laughs> spoiler alert, spoiler alert. So yeah. He did, you know, he go out and uh he go out and try to pull that bullet out of his arm. He's like, I ain't going to the hospital, I'm gonna do it right here on the couch. That nigga said, Are you okay? He said, Do I look okay, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, hey, hey, I don't care what nobody said. That's still Tracy. That hey, that, hey, it's Tracy, hey, that's Tracy for the wood, man. Wood, yeah, Tracy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But uh, but yeah, man, hey, that's that's man, it's it's I don't know what he's gonna uh I don't, I don't know what he's going to do with that. And you know what's crazy? You know, uh, what else is the police? Remember the police in the second episode? Man, yep. they talk about they won't double. They won't double now. And like, Cause man, he, now, he, now he got them he got to worry about. Yeah, because he, like he, he felt like he was getting set up. You know what I'm saying? Where I don't think he was more or less trying to set him up. He was just trying to get that play and get, get um, trying to get Scully knocked off. And he felt mm-hmm. like that could have been a way to kind of use the police to kind of use that tactic to kind of go in there and get it. And they went over there and sat on and, and, and peeped out the peep game and like, look, bro, there's no way we going up in there when they got all this going on. They got a man, two men sitting in the truck to make sure that nobody comes through. So if they try to come yeah. in there. Are they gonna run him over in the car? They're gonna shoot him up. It's like, man, you getting played. And so now he's going back to the dad. He's like, look, bro, I gotta get this. I gotta want double because he's trying to trying to trying to play me. He's trying to get me killed. Yeah. Because they had to, we had an arrangement set up. But now you're trying to play me and trying to get me knocked off. Yeah, yeah. He man, try to get him knocked off. And then he goes back, like you said, he went back and, and was going crazy with at his dad. Then got him, then got the reporter. So the reporter gonna put that together because they said, she, remember the reporter said, she knows uh, what, Nick's, Nick's is dirty. Yeah, how dirty he is, she know he dirty. She dirty, so it's like, why he coming in there coming at dude like that, uh, 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 cops yeah. like that. So, yeah. oh. man, she about, to, she about to try to expose everything. She, she gonna, gonna get down to it. And like I said, people like that who can kind of go in, cause she already kind of sat down with her protege and she's trying to figure out like, Where's where's going on? Where does money come from? Looking to them, is in shell companies. How did then she's like, how does he know I do this at 21? Like, no 21 year old would know how to do this, so he must be getting help from somewhere. So, and this how it ties back into Reed, where you see Reed's kind of going through that situation when he's over in Tijuana, and he's getting, you know, saying get locked up, and then him and Gustavo get locked up. They get they get pressure, they get the pressure put on them by, you know, saying the, the Mexican police to get you know, to pay, make more. And when I was like, well, if he already had a deal, so why would he lock him up? And then he, he kind of let them know. He was like, hey, look, they just want to know how much we moving. That's why they want yeah. to go in the truck. So while they got him in jail, they weren't probably going through the truck and seeing how much weight they moving so they can know how much money they need to be asking for. Yep, yep, exactly. That's, and what, so Reed, that's what they were doing. Like, we'll give you 10000 Like, what's your number? He's like, nah, man, I want 100 I'm like, man. whoa, like, I want 100 a week? Man, yeah. like, I want 100 a week. Man, I think they're going to try to, they're going to they gonna mess around and knock the, uh, the chief off. Ask for 100 a week? A hundred a week, bro. They're gonna be they're like, man, we're not about to get this. Dude. What, 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 uh, well, Reed said they're gonna try to go the guy above him first. They said they probably make the first payment, but then they, they probably gonna try to go above him. But man, they might be better off, you know, Reed, Reed, and mess around and get him knocked off quick. Yeah, get him knocked. They like, he like, because they already went to Gustavo. Like, I mean, I just, yeah, yeah, not Gustavo, but uh, Ivy. he went to Ivy. Like, look, man, I need my guns, man. I need you to be on the plane. <laughs> Go get my, yeah. I figure out where my guns at. He's like, man, I got my best man. Cause he's like, I want you on the plane. Yeah. And he hey. pulled with the guy, pulled the pistol out. I thought he had sh- Me too. I was like, damn. I was like, Reed. I say, Reed, <laughs> level now, huh? He a real dope boy, huh? He trying to, and then, cause he, he's so messed up in the head. He still think he doing it for the government, but he a real dope dealer. And, and, and you deep down, he know he a dope dealer. That's what he is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because you know what I'm saying his ex girl, well, ex wife or ex girlfriend. I already kind of let him know, like, hey man, you you you're a drug dealer now. You know what I'm saying you ain't yeah. this for you no more. You, you're a drug dealer. You enjoy this, and deep oh, down, yeah. is it? 
he really enjoys it, man. Because you know, what did, what did, did he give up his brother or something was about to? I forget what happened in season two. I think, I think they had his brother and and brother. He and he didn't go, or I, I want to say he didn't give him. He didn't give him what they asked for. He basically let his brother left his brother out there for a little bit, right? Yeah, they and they coked him up. You know, so they coked. Yeah. Him. Yeah, coked him up real bad. So, yeah, man. So we have his own situation that's going on, and and back to that chick. I was just like I said, I don't trust that new chick, man. I don't, I don't trust uh, how, yeah. how she moving, and she like you know, I don't. They ain't really said like what she do, how she can get information, but she can move around the city and get you know, what I'm saying get information back to people because they were trying to find out what what Scully did, and she found out in a, in a whole day. She like, yeah, I'm like, man, how does she? How does she? Uh, who who is she, man? Like. Yeah, she she gonna come in. She gonna come. She gonna come into play, and they gonna. And I don't think it's gonna be good for uh, Frank. Yeah, because <clears throat> like you owe me, and I wonder what she gonna what she gonna ask for because that was a you know what I'm saying. She the type of chick. She gonna have a big ask, and she probably go wherever the cash going because because she the cash going. I'm, yeah, she like she'll swing wherever the cash go, bro. Because she ain't really asked for nothing right then, and you know she ain't asked for nothing right then. When somebody you do some a big favor for somebody, and it was like you know you owe me. So you already know it's gonna be. Uh, she's gonna have to pay the piper when she come down for that big exactly. act. Exactly. Piper for. And so I thought he was gonna break off like, you 